Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Thilo. In this tutorial we will learn how to create and user-defined DMX input remote mapping. For this tutorial a matrix USB 1 is connected and the DMX input is already enabled. If you don't know how to enable the DMX input in matrix 5, please have a look to the tutorial remote control via DMX input. The link to the tutorial you will find in the description and also in the eye on the top right corner. As task we have to create the following DMX input remote map. DMX input channel 1 is responsible for the master value. DMX input channel 2 is responsible for the crossfade value. DMX channel 3 is responsible for the place ID of deck A and DMX input channel 4 is responsible for the place ID of deck B. In matrix, the DMX input tab of the device manager is opened, the connected USB 1 is configured as DMX in device and remote is enabled. Now we choose user as DMX remote control protocol and click the edit button. An empty DMX in remote editor opens and we can configure the DMX input map according to our task. The first function we have to add is the output master. Therefore we click the plus button, navigate to output and select master. A second function we add the crossfade value via plus, navigate to fade and select value. Please have a look to the already added functions. Both functions are mapped to the same DMX input channel by default. We have to change the channel for the second function, the fade value, to channel 2 via a double click at the DMX channel cell and change it to 2. Now we can go ahead with adding the remote functions. The third channel should be responsible for the place ID of deck A. So we navigate to plus deck A place ID. Now let us change the DMX input channel also there to channel number 3 and we can add the last function for this task which is responsible for the place ID of deck B. So we click plus deck B place ID and change the DMX input channel to number 4. By the way if you already want to test the assigned and mapped DMX input functions, simply click the test button and perform your changes at the console. Now all remote functions of this task are added. Please have a look to the column execution. By default the values are set to always. Always means matrix will take over the incoming DMX value and map it to the assigned function every frame. It also means the DMX input has a higher priority and you can't control the map functions with the mouse as long as the DMX input is enabled. You can change the settings to on value change. Now matrix will only map the incoming DMX channel to the assigned function if a value of the DMX controller will be changed and you will have the possibility to change values of the assigned channels with the mouse. In this tutorial we will change the execution for the master to on value change. Simply perform a double click at the execution cell and select on value change. We can close the DMX in remote editor without saving because 
the remote function will be also saved with the setup. Now we close also the device manager with a click at the OK button. Let us test our DMX map now. If the first fader will be moved, the output will be changed. The second one is responsible for the cross fader. A zero means the left side and a 255 means the right side. Of course, if we change fader number three, deck A will be changed the places and fader number four will change the places of deck B. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.